You are not the same person you were two and a half years ago. You are a completely, completely different person. You're unrecognizable. The people of your past are blown away by the person you've become. And the way you became the way you are is because you cut off the people, places, and things that don't serve you. You cut off all the toxicity. You stop catering to people who don't care about you. And instead of utilizing your energy and time and money on others, you stopped doing that. And you started doing that for yourself. And this is why you shine now. You bedazzle people. They, they walk next to you and they take a double look like, who is this person? You might think you're the same person, but you're not. People could tell there's something different about you. That you're unique. There's a certain energy about you that they don't come across often. And you got people from your past watching you, watching your progression, and wondering how you did it. Because they know you went through it. And they know you went through it alone. Well, to them, it was alone. You had God. And they want to know, how'd you, get, how'd you get that strength to overcome everything? And not only overcome it, but thrive. How'd you thrive after all that they did to you? Some of them want to ask you genuinely to get your advice. But their pride gets in their way because they talk so much about you. They told everybody you were a nobody. You didn't know anything. You were a clown. God abandoned you. Right? Then you have others who talk amongst each other and say, Oh, they made a deal with the devil. That's how come they made their changes. So they give the devil all the power and glory. And they don't believe God can do anything. But you know, God was with you the whole time. He got you through it. He gave you gifts. And one of the gifts was healing. He healed you. And he gave you the gift to heal others. But he told you right now, that's a gift for you alone. Don't share that gift. Don't share that gift with these people. If these people put their egos to the side and kneel before the king, the king of all kings, and bow their heads and come in, in with humbleness, and pray with great emotion and sincerity, then maybe God will inspire you to heal them. But until then, you are not to help them. God is going to put them through things similar to you. He's going to break them down. He's going to turn their arrogance to pure humbleness. It's already happening. Every day something's going on in their lives. That's a nuisance, a great nuisance. Somebody falling ill in their family, money being lost, unexpected expenses, slow business, etc. These people, these people are being brought to their knees so that it is evidently clear who's doing it the most high. You are an example for the whole world. You are the proof of God. You are the proof. You are the evidence that God exists. Because He's worked miracles through you. He got you through things that you know you couldn't go through it without Him. You know you couldn't have survived it without His help. You know that. You, you now know that without a shadow of a doubt. That's why you walk with strong conviction. You see, there's a difference between someone that says, oh, I, I think I believe in God versus you who says, I know there's God. I know God is in my life. You know, it's strong conviction. You know God exists. And people see that. You give people hope. You're the reason why people are getting closer to God. Believe that. There's a lot of people lost out here in, in this belly of the beast, you know, with, with all this materialism 
everybody's just lost. And I say everybody, meaning the majority of people. But when they see you, you're that lighthouse. You're the one that leads them to the most high. They see the evidence written all over your life, all over your face. And they have no choice but to go to the most high. That's your purpose in this world. Whatever you went through was for you to be the evidence of God. Take care, guys, and have a blessed day. Peace.